I'm here at Knowledge and Creativity Center in Phnopter. So, let's go inside and see what's happening here right now. Today, Let's Go is taking all of you to the Engineers Week event called Discover, organized by the Royal Commission of Jubil. Those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that and support me. I got to see an interactive tree robot and the kids loved it. An Arab speaking robot with an interface. A robot lady powered by Sidara. Then I got to meet an engineer named Jalal from Battle Engineering. Hey. Uh, it would be great if you could help me with uh, more information about this event. Uh, we are celebrating this week, the Engineers Week, uh, especially for children. What is the age group for the children? Well, it starts from 5 years old down to 15, 16. We have electrical engineering, civil engineering, the robotics engineers. Pictel is the main sponsor of the event. So as a Pictel employee, we do volunteers all around the city. And this is a huge opportunity to engage with the community, especially with the children, to uh, open the horizon and widen the horizon for them. So how's the crowd's response over here? In the first day, which was on Sunday this week, we received more than 500 people. And this is just the first day. The second day we received 1,000. Tomorrow is the Thursday and we're expecting 2,000, but we have to have a crowd management, so we're going to close the doors early to manage the crowd. Then I moved around to have a look on the workshops conducted for students. is distributing tickets to the students who successfully completed their projects. Then I got to meet another volunteer from the robotic workshops, Mr. Suleiman. I got to meet a junior champion there. This, this is the robot which, uh, which, yeah. which will stop if it detects any object, yeah. right? Yeah. So he is programming it? He is a programmer. Yeah. He is a programmer. How old is he? Uh, Excuse me, dear. What's your name? Uh, uh, Ryan. Ryan. Uh, how old are you? Uh, Twelve. Huh? Twelve years. And actually, he is a champion for some uh, champion for the robotics with his. So school. he is a champion, champion in his school for robotics. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And he came here to visit us, and we want to see what he, what is the maximum of his knowledge in robotics. So you are, not, in fact, you are not teaching him. I'm not in teaching. Fact, I'm you, learning from yeah, him. Yeah, you're learning actually. from him. Yeah, literally, from this I'm champion. learning from him. Wow, yeah. that's great. As you can see, I'm sitting, and he will tell me that I'm gonna do it like this for this for this like this. Girls love the chemical engineering workshops. I could hardly see boys there. the civil engineering workshops.
Excuse me. Could you please explain me uh, what is happening here? We're from Jubal University College. See, Jubal University College yes. student. Civil engineering students. Civil engineering students. Uh, we yeah. were invited to this show to help out the children get a general idea of earth earthquake effect on buildings. So you are explaining the students about the earthquake exactly. effect. By building a simulation of a small building using these sticks and applying an earthquake effect using this device which basically shakes when the building is placed on it on four different levels. According to the foundation of the building, if it's fixed properly using the tools we have with the children, it won't fall. If it falls, then we have to also explain why did it fall in the first place. Yeah, that's it. Can you please demonstrate it? Yes, sure. Uh, if you wait. He showed me the different levels of earthquake simulation and his design is foolproof. Moving on to workshops based on energy conversions. He's explaining the students how the rotational energy is converted to electrical energy. And here, vibrations are used to draw patterns and shapes, potential energy to kinetic energy conversion. He is explaining about the working of a solar powered motorcycle, the energy conversions. I can undoubtedly say that he was the one cornered with most number of questions in the entire event because whenever I saw him he was surrounded by a group of people asking him doubts. He also explained about the working of a car's engine. He is explaining the students about how triangular papers can be used to construct the spherical surface of the top portion of a mosque. Climbing the stairs right now to see what's happening upstairs. Wow, that's pretty cool. The bigger versions of the building block. The library was almost empty. It seems the kids love the workshops more than the library. I love this. The cube will trace the path accordingly as we arrange the tiles on this pre-programmed board. See how it is going? May I know your name? Yes, my name is Firas Sarabaya. Firas. So this is your kid's project? Yes, this is my project. So how old is she? She is uh, 8 years old. 8 years old and she enjoyed it or not? Yes, sure, she enjoyed it. How do you feel about this event? It's a very uh, nice event and very funny for the kids. Kids. And they learn uh, more things here. Yes. I was about to leave and got to meet this wonderful lady named Wafa Al Khalaf. Her organization, Al Khalaf Company for Exhibition and Conference, conducted this event with Royal Commission of Jubail. Um, my target here in Jubail is 6, 000, more than 6,000 kids, engineers uh, for future, inshallah, uh, 2013. By 2030. Yes, so exactly it's because this is the, the vision for uh, Saudi Arabia. You know that. So this is a part of the vision 2030. 
yes, of exactly. Saudi Arabia, yes. right? Yes. Okay. How many workshops you are conducting here? We have a, a 16 workshops. 16 workshops. So I heard that you are providing certificates for the kids. Yes. So how many how many projects the kids need to finish to get a certificate? Only four. Only four. Yes. If, if, if the kids uh, pass. Uh, for four workshops, he will take that certificate. Take the certificate yes. from the Royal Commission of Jubilee, exactly. right? Yes. So I heard that there is a theatre performance for engineers is happening here, a movie. What's the name of the movie? Uh, the movie is amazing, really, it's amazing. Um, the name for the uh, movie is Big Dream. For Big kids, dream. yes. For it's special for the kids. It's free, no, nobody needs to pay everything. Alhamdulillah, we are here uh, in Saudi Arabia. Every school is free. And also the, uh, the college. It was a pleasure talking to this lady. She was so generous to take me to the movie Big Dream and also to the innovative travel companion called Think Tech. Let's go and have a look. That's just the highlights of the movie. As Vafa said, it was an amazing experience for me. So it's time for me to move on. Moving on to Think Tech, the innovative travel companion. So the name of the bus is Think Tech. Yes, thank right. you. Oh, Welcome. thank you. Wow. This seems to be interesting. Some activities are happening inside the bus too. And then I meet this volunteer and he introduced me to 3D printer. It's the first time I'm seeing a 3D printer. He even showed me some objects printed using the 3D printer. Then he introduced the laser cutter to me even explain how it works and how it cut and engraves a wooden surface. Showed a sample piece too. There was some experiment going on outside and the crowd was waiting to see the bottle being thrown up on increasing the pressure. It's time to go home. I got to meet Wafa again. We talked for some more time and parted ways after taking a selfie. Those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that and support me. Hope to see you all with another video very soon. Bye.